question in my mind. He says way, definite way. But when I got to sit back and thinking about this, Combs, I, 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 I got to thinking, okay, we got Jamar Chase and Tyler Boyd, right? We have uh, DeAndre. Funny. We got De, DeAndre Hopkins and say Hunter Renfro. I think that's a pretty good one-two punch, punch as well. Uh, we got the 49er duo in Debo and then, let's say, George Kittle, right? I, I think that is a pretty good combo as well. Justin Jefferson and K.J. Osborne. Yeah, we got Justin Jefferson and K.J. Osborne as I got like as well. And pretty much you can put anybody on the cheese roster with Travis Kelsey, and that's a great duo as well. MBS, uh, Sky, Moore, et cetera. But with Plus, that being the said, Green Bay, the Green Bay tandem, I might take over Hill and Waddle. Yeah, but with all that being said, this is a very dynamic duo. This is a great one-two punch. You have yin and yang. You have the hide speed guy with an, with with like another speed guy that's willing to go over the middle. So if we're talking strictly just receivers, not adding a tight end into the mix, this is this is a way. This is a hundred percent way. Tyree Kill and Jay and no. Jay Allen Waddle is the the best wide receiver duo in the NFL. Now, if they even get a quarterback that can legitimately stay healthy, watch out, right? Now, I'm not saying they will have the best numbers this season in the NFL. Don't don't twist those words, Combsy, but they are the best one-two punch. If you put them on any team, they are the best one-two punch in the NFL. And that's with I, Zach Wilson throwing the ball, Justin Fields, <laughs> Dak Prescott, anybody. Anybody, they're the best one-two punch. 